three flirty questions to ask on a first date. Now these are questions that I would only ask if you feel like the vibe is going well and you want to spice it up a little bit. Number one, what is your biggest turn on? A woman who is competent. Number two, tell me something that not a lot of people know about you. That's classified. And number three, where is the craziest place you've ever hooked up? Your bedroom, 10 minutes from now. Outstanding. Men don't support their wives who stay at home to raise their children. They literally pay for their stay-at-home wives' entire existence. Women support men's careers by providing unpaid... You know, they would support their husband's career a lot better if they got real jobs and stopped being a burden on their husband's income. If you're considering being a stay-at-home mom, you need to listen to this video and learn from my mistakes and the mistakes of millions of other women. And of course, there's so many reasons that they're not our mistakes and that these are problems of patriarchy. Stop it. Get some help. You need to sit down with your husband and figure out what your stay-at-home mom labor is worth. You need to come to an agreement and you need to put it in a contract that if you get a divorce, that's what he is going to be paying you each year that you were a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> this way, your labor is only free labor that benefits him and you staying at home is only a risk that you need to take if the marriage is happy, if the marriage is meeting both of your needs. If he doesn't wanna pay this cost for your labor, then he needs to do work to keep you happy in that marriage. You and your needs and your happiness needs to be at the front of his mind, just as it would if you were a nanny who was working for the family, that he had to make sure was happy so that she didn't want to quit her job. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> and you need to put in that contract that the amount that he will pay you will increase if his income increases. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. And the reason for that is that he probably doesn't make enough money. You know what, sweetie? No marriage, no kids, no free ride. We don't want the contents of your birth box or the legal entanglements that come with it. So please, take your business elsewhere. Dismissed. To pay you what- DISMISSED! One more question. Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have a place and only one place in your heart for one woman, or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her? Fascinating. My husband has been asking me for days if we can, like, do the deed, you know? I thought it was about time that I probably agreed to it. Um, but conveniently, my baby woke up right before <laughs> it was about to happen, you know? Yeah, that's why men stopped committing to a single woman. Because when they get married, men expect to get laid. How dare Not live the life of a eunuch and an ATM machine at the same time. Also, in case you're wondering, she deleted this video shortly after posting it. Not because she realized that emasculating her husband on the internet is bad, but because she got a lot of backlash from it. And... When you present women with accountability, a lot of them react like this. Bruh. If you're a woman and you've ever doubted that everything that men do is for your attention and your favor, please go read this article. So basically this article states that young men aren't working like they used to. They're either unemployed, underemployed, not looking for work, etc. And when you read further into the article, the reason is clear. Men no longer feel like they should work because work no longer affords them a wife, a dog, and some kids at home. They no longer want to work or put effort into making money because they see one, women have their own money, and two, them having money is not going to give them the absolute power and control that the men of yesteryear had. 
You know, sweetie, if this trend continues, women won't be making any money either because the vast majority of you work in the service industry, which is fully dependent on the energy and transportation infrastructure that is maintained solely by men. Also, those of you on that website that starts with only are 100% dependent on men's income. And if men stop working, they can't pay for that kind of content. So the truth is, women can't make money without men. You're goddamn right. But guys, listen, if you feel the way that she's describing and you feel that a family is beyond your reach because women don't want you, so why bother? That's because you've been programmed from an early age to believe that having a wife is some sort of achievement. It's not. A wife is just a woman, and the woman is just another human being. She's not a prize, but she can definitely be a drain on your resources. So if women don't want you because you're average, remove them completely from your thought process and think about what you really want. You want that pickup truck? Make money and buy it. You want that gaming PC? Make money and buy it. You want to be in better shape? Go work out every day, then post your abs on Instagram. And you know what happens when you do this? Women start crawling out of the woodwork, wanting your attention. When that happens, you don't give them your full attention, you don't give them your resources, and you don't marry them. You put on the Emperor's shield, and you pump and dump. And that's the bottom line, Custom Code Setsu! <laughs>